in here with Wayne Ryan, one of the assistant executive directors of the West Virginia Secondary School Activities Commission. And Wayne's a, a whole new ball game now. We're able to get ball games in, which is important. But uh, first of all, I wanted to start with the 4A class. We're here at the state tour boys' state tournament. What uh, has been your opinion this season of the 4A class? Well, uh, the four classification. Right. Well, first of all, it's a two-year trial. I don't think we can judge anything based off of, of a tournament held during COVID because everything is different. So right. we'll have next year uh, to continue to evaluate. And our school membership will evaluate and we'll reconvene a committee and they'll report back. And But, but overall, we've, we've had a lot of positive response. Uh, I think you'll have to say the four classes has created good parity. It's given more kids and athletes, coaches, the opportunities to participate in a state tournament. So those are all pluses. Uh, I'm sure there's some uh, some, you know, comments and, and, and opposite opinions, but we won't take those all under consideration before we would move forward after the two-year trial period. When you see teams like Cameron, uh, Hampshire, I think making a first appearance, does that kind of make it worthwhile what you guys were hoping for? Well, I think so. I mean, in any classification, there's always going to be teams on a bubble that feel uh, like they got classified in, in the wrong uh, classification. But, but overall, you've had a lot more schools and communities have the opportunity to compete. And the, the parity has been pretty good, and I think that was part of the objective of the committee when they put this together. It's obvious that COVID's played a part in sports, the, the whole sports year, uh, the end of, or halfway through last sports year. Uh, how trying has it been for the Secondary School Activities Commission to just to go about business when everything's the way it is? Well, I mean, it's certainly a bit difficult. And, uh, you know, once you make one plan, uh, you often have to make plan two, plan three, plan four. But our schools have had the same situation to deal with. So I think everybody has done well to, um, to function during this time as best we can and as normal as we can in a time that clearly has not been normal. And we just hope we get vaccines in the arms and that by next fall, we're in a more normal situation. Well, speaking of vaccine in arms, Herbert Hoover had a situation where the we thought coming into today, they actually did have a couple more starters, but the only starter that was originally slated to play was a kid who had been vaccinated. How, how much of a push is the SSAC making toward uh, helping get the word out about vaccination? Well, we're making a pretty big push because along with the State Department, uh, we're encouraging the vaccinations and the incentives for that. I mean, if they're vaccinated, uh, students vaccinated, they're exposed in the classroom, they don't have to quarantine. We, we know an example of Herbert Hoover's who got the vaccination. You could play on in this situation, so it's good for that young man. And you know, as we look next fall, there's a possibility that, that we're going to have to have testing if students haven't been uh, vaccinated. So that's more incentive. So there's a lot of things still in the works about how it will be next fall, but the vaccination certainly help solve problems. How much of a daily talk is there in the in the offices in Parksburg about COVID and, and how to fight? Is that I would imagine that there's been a big improvement on how you guys were able to operate from. Uh, last football season where we are now in basketball. Well, we certainly discussed how we're going to operate, but most of those decisions with COVID or anything health related don't come from us. We have to pass the information on down. We have to enforce it. But obviously the governor's office and the State Department of Health and Human Resources, they're, they're the medical experts and they give us the guidance and we share with the schools and enforce it. Do you feel like sometimes the SSAC, and I would reference this back to uh, football, Sometimes it was a sacrificial lamb as far as fans go because they think that, you know, you guys are in charge of everything when in fact with the pandemic, a lot of the decisions weren't in your hands at all. Well, absolutely correct. During a pandemic, the, the, the hierarchy, the chain of command changes some. And so obviously as we went through that, there are a lot of things we haven't been in control of that we've just had to monitor in the force. And, and that's okay. We look for some normalcy. Like I say, if we can get vaccinations moving forward, but uh, we work through it the best we can, and, and you know we're just excited that we are having this basketball tournament. Is there a chance that because of the because of COVID and the situation uh, and the way things are, you might expand this pilot program to four classes an extra year to give yourself more of uh, an idea of how it would run in a, hopefully a normal circumstance? Well, I think anything's a possibility, but we'd like to think between this year and next year, which is the two-week trial, we'll, we'll get a strong enough uh, feeling for, for how the four classes works. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk to our membership. Our membership is the one that they uh, that proposed and voted in the four classes, and it was our job to, to arrange it. 
and so uh, we'll evaluate that after two years and see, but I would think anything's on the table at this point moving forward. How strange has it been uh, having all the season, multiple seasons running together? I and mean, usually baseball starts at the state when the state tournament uh, comes in and, and is played, but this season baseball's been going on three, four weeks before the state tournament. Well, I mean, it's certainly unusual, but I, I think the real impact there is with our athletes and our coaches and our schools. And they've done a tremendous job doing the best they can with that multi-sport athlete, which again, we really encourage multi-sport participation. So the schools have worked together, uh, their coaches have worked together and done the best they can for those athletes. And we're, we're just glad we're having all these seasons instead of having to cancel any more seasons. I know you still have uh, strong ties in Summers County area, so a lot of people like probably want to know, how, how's your family doing? Well, we're, we're doing good. I mean, the last year has been interesting, I think, for every family. So uh, we've had things to deal with just like every family has out there. But, uh, but uh, I appreciate you asking. Everybody's moving forward, doing okay. Hey, Matt, the daughter doing well? They are, they are doing well, yes. Hard to believe it's been so many years since. It, it, time, time does go fast, yes. All right. Hey, hey uh, Wayne, I appreciate it, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave.